thinking about the end of painting. Yes, as I said before. So then, uh, then from there I realized that this this moment of '68 when uh, painting seemed uh, like a not interesting option, and uh, if, uh, it was announced that painting is dead. Uh, many other moments in history uh, are did the similar thing. The 68 moment was uh, for me bio in my bi biography important, uh, but then you have to go beyond your biography to understand art history. 68 was especially because there were so many possibilities opened up, but it was also an ideological crisis uh, of painting, was it because it was 68 was very... Uh, revolutionary. Revolutionary and attacking uh, bourgeois values. So, yeah, this is a good example for, for that moment. Exactly. But then, when, when you dig a little bit deeper in that topic, you see that modernity starts with this idea that painting is dead. And it was French artist Paul Delaroche, the painter, who mostly made like... The statement? Yeah, he made the statement from now on painting is dead. In a, and but you there. you went you went very, you went further. Yeah. You, you so then I I was uh, I was uh, thinking on five moments of crisis or rapture of painting, and this is the great of the show. So the first one would photography coming being invented. The second one would be the collage and the ready-made, how that was bringing new arguments for painting. The, the third one would be, as Roland Barthes formulated it, the death of the author. So when the idea of the genius creator is put in question, and you can use existing images from art history or from everyday life, like Pop Art did, and, and or as Roy Lichtenstein formulated, everything that I do in my art comes from outside. So that was, of course, attacking the abstract expressionists. Yeah. The, the fourth crisis would be, yeah, as I said before, uh, the 68 crisis, and the fifth one, I would say it's the crisis of critique in general, uh, which is formulated by Luc Boltanski and Yves Giacchiello in their book, um, uh, The New Spirit of Capitalism, which means that every, every kind of critique that comes from culture that is outside, is built in, inside the system. So it means the new art comes from crisis, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Bon, merci, monsieur. Okay. <laughs>